Hey, what's going on guys? Willis here back with another Genshin Impact video. Uh, another video regarding the housing update today for you guys today. Before I jump into today's video, um, obviously be sure to support this video with a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to go enter our 10,000 Primo Gem giveaway, which I'm running this month. All you have to do is head over to the Discord, go to the Genshin giveaway channel, and you can enter there. Now, without the way, let's jump into it so i wanted to go over some quick tips you can use obviously in your teapot realm whatever you want to call it um also a quick news update towards the end of the video regarding electro users and an electro buff which is coming very shortly um to the game or maybe even another update we'll get into that at the end but uh, yeah some quick tips i want to give out that i've been seeing a lot is um how do you co-op? How do you co-op with friends? Now, it's really simple. Honestly, I, I don't think this is explained. I know probably a lot of people aren't going to know this, but yes, you can visit your friends. You can co-op with your friends. And here's how you do it. Now, obviously, you just go to your friends tab by right here. And what you need to do is you need to actually, instead of clicking request to join, you need to click on the picture and click request to visit the Serenity teapot or the Serenity the serenity pot pretty much and when you click this uh your friend actually needs to be in their teapot and then you can pretty much join in you can walk around um you can also visit their teapot to basically give them reduced cooldowns on their crafting items so as you can see here um you've got the creation time which is 14 hours and then you've got the guest speed up time which is four hours so essentially how it works is your friend would join and then your friend would then visit your uh tubby talk to tubby and then basically anything that you're crafting at that time when they talk to them will get reduced to this guest speed up time and this is really good and it's obviously encouraging a lot of people to obviously make sure you do co-op when you're crafting stuff so uh maybe if you don't have 14 hours to wait and maybe you need it done a bit quicker and you don't have the vial of adeptal speeds um just get your friend to join the world have them talk to tubby and you can pretty much cut this in half if not even more um another quick tip i can give now obviously a very uh, annoying thing right now is getting um the currency the realm currency how do you get a bunch of realm currency now one thing you can do obviously is make sure your adeptal energy is high because the higher your adeptal energy the more you're actually earning per hour so i'm on elegant right now which requires six thousand um so i'm getting 20 of these coins per hour now how do you get this adeptal energy up it's pretty simple all you have to do is just work through your book work through the book that it gives you this book here um every time you level up it's going to give you these scrolls uh make sure you're learning these scrolls because these scrolls will sometimes give you recipes for items you don't know so yeah i've got one here obviously you just use it and then basically you come back to tubby here go to the where is it the furnishing here and any item that you can see here that has a little teapot in the corner so any item that has a teapot, I've pretty much crafted all these, so I won't have it. Uh, we'll give you, we'll actually give you trust XP for crafting it for the first time. So to get that XP, it's really important that you craft at least every single item once, uh, just so you get the XP. Now to get your adeptal energy up, now that's different. You need to actually place stuff down. Now it doesn't need to be fancy or anything you can literally just place a bunch of items down uh one thing i've sort of done to cheese the last 100 adaptable energy to get 6000 is these statues right here these statues give 90 adaptable energy each so what i did was i actually made five of them so it gave me a bunch of adaptable energy i think between them all you get around 600 which is nuts so if you need that extra push to reach your uh, adaptable energy caps uh, try and craft some of the purple items. So even if it's this, maybe um, I crafted the stone lion, and this gave me uh, yeah, give me ninety actually, ninety adeptal energy each. So yeah, it's pretty good. These give ninety as well. Uh, as you start getting more furniture, obviously make sure you're crafting it. Um, another huge tip, massive tip, which I honestly forgot to mention in my last video. Now, you come over to the Realm Depot here. Make sure, guys, you are buying the Vial of Adeptal Speed. Make sure you buy five of these per day because you can only get five per day. And trust me, 
you need these like even if you're using up all of your money make sure you get five of these what do these do these basically will speed up uh the crafting on your finisher well when i say speed up i mean they'll instantly complete it so an example here i kind of don't want to spend one so i'm not but you were to craft a chair here and this chair would take 13 hours to complete now you can actually get it now by using up an adeptal uh, speed so it's sort of like an instant completion so for those of you who are impatient it's going to be really really freaking handy but yeah that's pretty much all the tips i can give um one thing i would recommend doing is working on your uh, adeptal energy try and get it to as high as you can with the amount of items you can put down uh, i'm assuming tomorrow once i've got more coins i'm going to be able to get to the exquisite level this gives 22 per hour and then as you go on you can just see you get some more coins per hour so 20 per hour is way better than getting like eight or four per hour so try and get it as high as you can maybe you just gotta put items down um but yeah i guess i want to talk a bit about the electro update or the electro hotfix they're doing the electro rebalance the electro buff so mahoya have actually announced on their little dev questionnaire they are going to be buffing electro uh so the changes are when a character reaches level 60 or above the damage caused by major reactions so electro charged superconduct overload swirl and shatter will be increased the base shield damage absorption for shields generated by crystallized reactions will be increased the damage bonus provided by elemental mastery for major reactions will be increased uh refer to the attribute panel in game for the exact damage bonus amount and the initial design of these adjustments is already being tested in the 1.6 beta the developers are continuing to monitor the data for the performance and adjustments for any related changes are officially implemented into the live version and they will update travelers so they are working on buffing electro obviously electro isn't as great as the other elements apparently and they're going to be buffing so hopefully micah ching is going to hit even harder so that's really awesome but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video once again don't forget to go enter the 10,000 primo gem giveaway guys it's completely free just got to join the discord head over to the genshin giveaway channel Click the link there, enter, you're done. That's it. Other than that, big massive shout out, obviously, to our sponsor, Logitech. I'm sponsored by Logitech. Um, if you guys want to pick up any Logitech gear, headsets, keyboards, all that good stuff, uh, be sure to use my links down below. Currently, I am using the G9 1510 keyless keyboard. Uh, by far, my favorite keyboard, like, ever, that I've ever used. It's wireless. It's got light speed. Basically, feels like it's wired. It's nuts. I love it. Uh, check out my links down below. Uh, join the Discord. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.